We learned the 21 year old driver was shot 10 times while shielding the four children in his SUV. We aren't naming the driver because no one's been arrested. They're going to need to work with prosecutors to come up with enough evidence to charge the shooter. And if they don't have enough evidence, they might not be able to make an arrest. <laughs> Oh, now what's the month from the Kane deal, man? I really do appreciate you for pulling back up to the Bullet Ass Studio. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already. And if you're watching me on Facebook, make sure you give me a follow. You feel me? Let's go and jump up in this thing right now, man. We have an unfortunate situation. It says, uh, according to Fox 5, we have a football coach shot 10 times while shielding players from gunfire. Police say, hit that like button. Let's go and jump up in it. Red. No. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. All right, in Jacksonville, Florida, a football coach in Florida was shot 10 times while trying to protect his young players from a drive by shooting Saturday night. That is sad. This is uh, another story where we're talking about a Little League football coach being shot. Man. And at the game, he survived with serious injuries. But sadly, a 13 year old boy died in the shooting wow police in jacksonville said the team was killed moments after leaving a football tryout in total five people were in the car the 13 year old boy the coach an 11 year old boy who was seriously injured a 14 year old boy who was injured and a 15 year old boy who was in who was uninjured uninjured the boy who died was identified as prince holland police said the 21 year old coach who was driving tried to shield the players as bullets rang out. Police are still looking for the person responsible for the drive-by shooting. The coach, who is awake and alert in the hospital, told police he doesn't know who shot him. Investigators are working with the surviving teens to try to piece the puzzle together. They are also looking at evidence from the scene, such as shell casings and surveillance video. Wow. I mean, when will it end? Hit that like button, man. Let's go on. Let's watch this uh, article real quick. The clock is ticking. Someone is responsible for a drive-by shooting that killed 13-year-old Prince Holland. These crimes have to be solved within the first several hours or the first day or so. Criminal attorney Lee Lockett Jeez. says every day that passes without information, the community grows sadder and sometimes quieter. JSO is going to turn to who can speak up. We learned the 21-year-old driver was shot 10 times while shielding the four children in his SUV. We aren't naming the driver because no one's been arrested. The driver's attorney says he told police he doesn't know who did the shooting. Why do you think this driver has an attorney? Perhaps out of convenience or just in the abundance of caution. Uh, that might be one reason. Um, another reason might be that there might be a feeling that, you know, he is the driver. He's the only adult in the car. So anything that happens to children that he might be responsible for. Detectives will ask the other kids in the SUV what they saw. JSO will likely revisit the scene, collecting physical evidence and surveillance. They can also put shell casings through a database to see if the gun was used in other crimes. They're going to need to work with prosecutors to come up with enough evidence to charge the shooter. And if they don't have enough evidence, they might not be able to make an arrest. Someone knows something. We can only hope for Holland and the community's sake that they speak up. Whoa, sad situation, man. Y'all be careful when y'all out here at the football games, at the Little League football games. You got to be careful everywhere when you step out the door. But you would think that you would be safe at the Little League football games. You know, you would think. I don't know, though. Who am I? The world we live in is crazy. You you would be crazy to think you're safe anywhere, man. I mean, you got people dying, getting killed in their own homes by the police. I Tiana Jefferson. I Tatiana Jefferson. And many more to be named. Anyway, if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you vibed all the way out to the end. This is a very sad situation. My condolences to the one that lost their life in this situation. Those who were injured, anybody that was involved, because I mean, I'm sure it is very traumatizing. 
Hit that like button on your way out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching me on Facebook, make sure you give me a follow. Until next time, I'm sharing advice. I'm going to need y'all to be cool like the other side of the pillow. Stay light on your toes like you're supposed. Oh, yeah. Also, shout out to this uh, coach for shielding these kids. Hats off to them, man. I know so many people that would have just been worried about them and just saving their, li their own lives, trying to duck their own head. This coach took the extra mile to try to save the kids by shielding them himself so you know hats off to that coach right there anyway y'all be cool out here stay light on your toes like you suppose till next time i'm shielding vibes oh yeah no if you ain't fucking with my nigga sheldon nigga fuck you yeah oh god